Hello, this is my bike, and all I'm going to do today is simply lift it up. So, as you're going to be able to see here, it's quite hard to do if we do it again. Lifting off the ground initially is hard. It, it, I'll use both hands. So we lift it off the ground, and that's quite hard. And then as you get your arms um, kind of parallel to the floor, that makes it even harder to bring it up to your shoulder. Then once it's at your shoulder, you've um, got two options. You can either hold it like that by kind of locking your arm in place, which causes strain in your arm and cramp, and also um, down here on my chest. Um, or you can rest it and prop it on your shoulder, which um, not only digs into your shoulder but also still hurts your arm. You can put your arm through it and then take it off your shoulder slightly, which kind of locks it in place. Um, it feels a lot more stable, but it still hurts your arm a lot. Um, you can kind of put it this way um, which is sometimes if you're walking up um, stairs sometimes it's easier to like turn round in between a banister and a wall um, if it's more this way because it's it doesn't stick out as much as when it's this way I'll put it down again now. If I lift it up again, another problem, another problem you'll notice is the handlebars and the wheel swing around a lot, so they can hit you in the face, um, which hurts and could also maybe cause you to fall over. Which, while you're climbing a, a hill or a flight of stairs, could be quite dangerous. Um, it could also hit someone else if you're climbing it. Um, around other, um, climbing with it around other people. Um, for example, someone in my questionnaire takes their bike up escalators. So if they're on an escalator in a busy train station, they could easily that could easily swing into someone because they don't really have any control over it. Um, to get around that, a lot of people do when they lift it up, and not like this now. Um, hold the handlebars so they don't swing but then because let me just load the screen um, where you'd normally put two hands there to get um, so you can distribute the weight easily over both your hands um, you've kind of got hold um, with holding the front you've gone and got all the weight in this hand um, and this hand doesn't really do much, which makes it a lot harder to lift. Um, both ways, if you do it that way or this way with it. If I show you with your arm over that way, you can lift it so it's inside your arm. But then again, that's something else, another way which is really hard to hold. Um, Again, you could also hold it there, which allows you to have your arm straight, which is good. And you can get a good hold of this, but um, it's hard to hold this without your hand slipping up here. Because of the angle of that, and also it means the seat digs into your back a lot. Um, the side of the bike um, will dig into your waist. And other than that, it's actually quite low to the floor. Um, which you can't see in this video, but it, it's about 20 centimetres away from the floor. So if you were climbing upstairs or a hill, the front wheel would just be on the floor, and then if you tilt it back, your hands will slip. Also, when doing that, I don't feel like I've got a lot of control over the back. Um, so again, if you were on an escalator or just in any public place, you could um, easily knock someone with that without realising. 
Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.